I am René the boy. Soy René el niño. By, por, René Colato Laínez. Illustrations by, ilustraciones de Fabiola Graullera Ramírez. I am René the boy. Soy René el niño. By, por, René Colato Laínez. Illustrations by, ilustraciones de Fabiola Graullera Ramírez. To my lovely mamá, Juana Laínez Macías, and to the MVP class and everyone at Vermont College, RCL. To Mario, Angélica, and Erika for being my inspiration, FGR. My name is René, like my grandfather and my father. I am René III. I learned to write my name in El Salvador. I wrote it everywhere. I wrote it with the charcoal from Mama's brick oven. I traced it with a stick on the fresh rained soil. In El Salvador, I was René the Brave, René the Strong, and René the Funny. I cannot believe it. Here in the United States, René is a girl's name. I discovered it when a new student joined my classroom and Miss Soria called roll. Jose, Mary, Carlos. Here, answered everyone. René, she said. As I started to say here with pride, I heard a girl's voice answer to my name. She was the new student. Here I am. I'm René, she said. She looked at me and smiled. My mouth dropped. I was paralyzed. During recess, some boys came up and taunted me. You have a girl's name. In the kitchen, while we were eating fried plantains with sour cream and hot chocolate, I told my parents, The boys at school say that René is a girl's name. I have never heard such a thing, Papa said. René is the name of hard-working men. René is a beautiful name. Don't listen to them, Mama said. That's right. My name is so beautiful that a girl copied it from me. I said as a piece of fried plantain disappeared into my mouth. At school, my desk partner was Renée, the girl. She was behind me every time we lined up in alphabetical order. She was always smiling at me. During recess, she told me that she wanted to be my best friend. Are you sure that your name is Renée? I asked her. You're a girl. Maybe your name is Irene and you lost the I in your alphabet soup. No, she told me. My parents named me René. After recess, we went to the school library. There were many shelves with books. Some were so high that I could not reach them even if I stood up on my tiptoes. Boys and girls, all these books are for you, the librarian said. We use books to read, study, and research information. Research? What can I research? I asked her. Anything you want. These books have information on anything, she told me. Afterwards, the children borrowed books. I looked for the perfect book, from left to right and up and down. Here it is, I exclaimed, the meaning of names. In the evening, I fell asleep on the sofa while I watched a movie. When Mama tried to pick me up to go to bed, I woke up. You are too heavy, mi hijo, she told me. A few years ago, you were just a baby. In my room, I took the library book from my backpack. There was a list of boys and girls' names in alphabetical order. I looked for the letter R. René, here it is. Origin, French, meaning reborn. Then I looked in the dictionary and discovered that reborn meant to be born again. The next day we made a chart with our names. Miss Soria said my name and wrote René on the board. That's not how you write René, I said to my teacher. How do you write it? my teacher asked. 
I picked up an eraser and removed the last E and wrote an accent mark on the second E. René. René, the girl, then took the eraser away from me and wrote it back the way it was. René. This is the way I write my name, she told me. After I saw her name on the board, I felt much better. Her name was different. Hers had five letters, and mine had only four. Before going home, the teacher passed a flyer. It said this. The school library presents the first writing contest of the school year. Open topic. Write on any subject. A winner will be chosen next month. Prize? Two extra-large pizzas. I love pizza, René said. Me too, I said. At home, after going to bed, I decided to participate in the writing contest. What can I write about? I asked myself as I fell asleep. In the following weeks, I took notes on all the things I had discovered about my name. Then I wrote my essay. A month later, during the assembly in the auditorium, the librarian announced the first place winner. I could not believe what my ears were hearing. I won! I won! I said as I jumped up and down. I came to the stage and the principal asked me to read my essay. I am René. In Spanish, René is a boy's name. In English, my name with an extra E at the end is a girl's name. René is a French name that means to be reborn, to be born again. I have read about men named René in books. I found René Descartes. He was a philosopher. In my teacher's art book, there was a painting by René Magritte. But I don't look like the Renés in those books. I have brown skin, like the sweet bread that Mama gives me for breakfast. I have black and straight hair that does not like combs or brushes. I have beautiful black eyes like Mama and strong arms like Papa. My name René is different. It is my very own name. The letter R is for the railroad that ran in front of my house in El Salvador. The letter E is for my country, El Salvador. The letter N is for never give up. The letter E is for my new country, Estados Unidos, the United States. The accent mark at the end is what makes my name strong and powerful. I am this René. Here in the United States, the names of many words change in English. Mi escuela is now my school, and mi casa is my house. Even Mama is now Mom, and Papa is Dad. They don't understand if I call them Mom and Dad. But René is René in English and Spanish. Sometimes people pronounce my name differently. I don't care because I know who I am. In English, I found René in my favorite color, green. René is written backwards in energy. I have a lot of energy. I can find René in what I like the most, adventures. Now I know why René means to be reborn, to be born again. First, I was born in El Salvador, where I learned to write my name and speak my favorite language, Spanish. Now I am born again in the United States, where I learned to speak English. I am so lucky that after I was born again, I can speak, read, and write in English and Spanish. When I finished reading, everyone clapped. The principal gave me the two extra-large pizzas. I shared the pizza with my classmates. I like your name, René told me with a slice of pizza in her hands. I like your name, too, I said as I took another slice of pizza.